Form the differential equation of the family of curves y is equal to a sine bx plus c where a and c are being parameters. So here yeah, what they're saying is uh, this is the family of equation a and c are the parameters that is a and c keeps changing so you get different uh, sine curves. So just to show you uh, I can let me get my graphic calculator uh, this is my graphic calculator. So let us draw A, let us keep A and C to keep changing. Okay, so this is, so let us go to graph. We'll keep uh, B constant, so we'll keep B as 1. So let us start with A as 1 and C as uh, 2. So this is 1 sine uh, B I'm taking keeping as 1 so that is x plus 2 so let's see what type of graph it draws we'll have to change the setting we want a trig graph trig scale from this is minus 3 pi to uh, plus 3 pi so the sine curve would look like this okay now what happens uh, this is a so let us change that to so let us change that to 2 sine x plus 3 okay so let us, we are changing oops so this is 3 this is delete okay let's see what it looks like okay so yeah this is as you keep changing a and c you'll get different sine curves and they are in the same family okay so i explained it graphically so let us do it algebraically so the equation is, let's write the equation again, y is equal to a sine bx plus c. Now as you have got two parameters, we'll have to differentiate this twice and then we can find the differential equation. So differentiating with respect to x, we can say dy by dx is equal to, now here yeah, the constant is b. Okay, so first we'll differentiate the inside, sine uh, the derivative of bx is b, so this would be a, b, and then the outside cos bx plus c. Now this is chain, uh, the chain rule, so first you differentiate the inside and then the outside. The differentiation of inside, the differentiation of bx is b and then the differentiation of sine is cos. Okay, so this is the first derivative. So what will be the second derivative? So uh, we can write d, d by dx of dy by dx. This is the second derivative. Is equal to d by dx of ab cos uh, bx plus c. So again we have to apply the chain rule so this is nothing but d squared y by dx squared is equal to again applying the chain rule so the derivation the derivation of cos is sine so first you have to differentiate the inside uh, the, the differentiation of cos is negative sine so and the differentiation of inside is b so this will be a b squared uh, minus sine bx plus c. I hope it is clear. So this minus, so this can be simplified as d squared y by dx squared is equal to minus uh, minus. Let us write. Let me write b squared times a sine bx plus c but what is this this is a sine bx plus c if you look at the function a sine bx plus c is nothing but y okay so in place of this i can put y therefore therefore i can write d squared y by dx squared is equal to minus b squared y okay so what will this simplify to okay so this i'm adding b squared y to both sides therefore 
the differential equation is d squared y by dx squared plus b squared y is equal to zero is the differential equation for the given family of equation which is y is equal to a sine bx plus c where a and c are the parameters